All right, so first off, hope you're all staying safe out there. Welcome to a brand new game, Star Wars Outlaws. My very first time ever playing it. Here we go. And special thanks to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. If you would like to pro to the game yourself, they gave me a custom link at the top of the description. Just click that. I should take you where you need to go to check it out. The game launches on August 30th with early access being on August 27th for premium editions. All right, so a little bit about Star Wars Outlaws. So I played an exclusive mission for this video. I played about two to three hours up to this point. This being the very first ever open world Star Wars game, I was kind of like just testing out a lot of stuff. So you can like be on a planet, walk around on foot. You can summon your speed or have it like come to you, which is really cool. And when it's time to actually like leave an area, you can actually go from surface to space on your ship in like one smooth transition. It's not like a loading screen or anything. And after you're in space, you can pretty much do anything. You can go fly around. You can go do side activities here and there. There's mini games that I get a chance to check out. The space combat was so good. As far as the story goes, it's kind of like a criminal underworld type thing. There's different syndicates you can actually like affect your reputation for. It's you and your companion, Nyx. And you're like in this unique scoundrel fantasy adventure. And everything you do kind of affects your playthrough. But thank you for all the like support you drop on this. If you're excited for Star Wars Outlaws, just let me know. Definitely going to try out the full game when it does drop. But anyways, love you all. Let's go and get this. Talk to Gorak. Let's go and check this out. Apparently this is like a really cool mission that only a few people get a chance to check out, so I'm really excited to see what this is actually all about. So far I like everything about this game. It just, it has a nice vibe to it. Gorak, you wanted to see me? Straight to business. Good. Well, I know you're a busy... Pike. Governor Thornton and the Don are attempting to remove me from power. They were heard plotting with one of my own. You want me to find your traitor? And bring them to me. For a conversation. So that's why you need an outsider. To keep this quiet. <sighs> it's a delicate situation. A Crimson Dawn agent was overheard on their comlink, planning this little coup. Where? The Miragana Market. My guess is they're still there gathering intelligence. Find where their communications are going. I'm on it, Gorak. And Kay! I want my ring back. Oh, you lost a ring. Uh, was it worth something? Or... <laughs> You're lucky I need you. Get moving! All right, the trader, new quest. Let's go to the market, which is actually over there. Okay. Yeah, the vibe of this game is like what I like the most: the voice acting, the character models, and everything. The combat's also really cool. I like the stealth aspect as well. I wasn't expecting that from Massive, which is actually, you know, it's welcome too because I think the vision was like, uh, what? Use the wall as kind of like cover lots. Then Avatar was like open world, so it's like a mix, I feel like. Check out the little bar area back here. They're all chilling. Oh, you can play this game. I would do that, but we're kind of limited on time, so I'm going to go check this out first. <laughs> I can get sidetracked to any kind of mini game in any of these areas, I feel like. Should be like another door I can take. Let's try going out through the main entrance. Yeah, this loops around, I think. Now we can go full sprint. Probably going to play this game on PC when it does drop. I cannot wait to just, like, have the full game ready, you know? But this is a nice little, like, demo I'm playing. Let's keep an ear out for Comlink chatter about Gorak. Looking for something in particular? A merc. Find the Crimson Dawn agent. The agent is making comlink calls. Okay. Hold on. Of course it was Tislak. 
All right, Nix. Let's steal that comm link. Need to stay back a little bit, you know. <laughs> Don't get too close. I just like the little walking thing. I like I'm doing something else. It says steal it. I mean, just. Hmm. All right, still here we go. Spit that out. Hold on a minute. Okay. Walker, can you trace a comlink signal for me? I got arrested. <laughs> All right, it says go to the actual orbit now. Okay, so I got arrested while I was doing the actual quest, and I guess it actually still completed it. So we're now going this way. We're chilling. That was cool. I didn't know you could actually like get your companion and actually like still by holding it down. You can do like distract or still, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see. I think we're going. Yeah, we go this way. The fact that this is all like open world from here is so sick. I was actually stunned the first time I went to like space in this game. So I wasn't expecting. I thought this entire thing was going to take place on like the actual planet, but the fact that we're actually like leaving the area as well is really awesome. Uh, let's pick this up and get the data pad. Let's see what it says. Heard the rumor you're making good friends. All right. All right. Sit down. Here we go. All right. Let's go. I love how they show it like in real time. It's not like some kind of transition like other games, you know? It's like all done at once. This place is ginormous. I mean, it is space, I guess, but... All right. A little pulse wave. I would stop it. If I get fired at, I'll probably fight, but I'm chilling right now. So much debris here. The Crucible. Oh, no. I don't like the name of that. New treasure location. Okay. We're getting really... Hold on. Let me slow down a little bit. <laughs> let me slow it down just a little bit more. I think when you get really close, it just automatically docks you, but I could be wrong. Never done this, so we'll try it. Nice and easy. Hopefully it takes over when you get really close. There we go. Nice. Press A to land. I feel like the music and everything is really well done in this game, too. It just feels like a Star Wars vibe more than anything, which is what it's supposed to be, right? All right. Come on, Nix. Finding Tislak shouldn't take long. Maybe the bartender knows something. Tislak. What is actually back here? Hold on. I love this. It has like the bass beat. That works. You have to do it on rhythm. That That's so cool. Place to hide from an underboss. Little side section, but it looks like the main thing now. Let me just get on and it automatically takes us. No, my companion! Oh, they're still there. Hey, nice!
Oh, there we go. Just, uh, valve maintenance. <laughs> Don't mind me, just chilling. We got a stash back here. Take this data pad, see what it says. I quit. Interesting. This Feel free to pause it if you need to. Dura still. Plus three. There's somebody back there. Hold on. The Pike Informant. Okay, it's one of the factions. Interesting. Tislak Shar. I found a little hollow of you talking to Thordan. You're planning to take down Gorak. What? Who are you? How did you find me? I guess I'm pretty good at sniffing out traitors. No. You do not understand. He does not deserve the power of the Pikes. He could be pulling double, triple the profit. But he does not listen to reason. He doesn't listen to reason? Or he wouldn't pay for your trips to that casino cruiser? It was a business opportunity. Uh-huh. You can tell me about it on the way back to Maragana. Wait! Whatever he's paying you, I can pay double. Crimson Dawn has more than enough credits. So here's the thing. We get the bribe or... It's all about the reputation at this point. And it's like, from the beginning of the game, we're kind of dropped into this mission like as a later in the game type thing. So I don't know like where we are in the game right now, but you would actually have different types of reputation up to this point. I'm going to go with... It's like the bribe. It's like, don't want to do that. I may choose like a different path in the actual main game when I play it. Um, I can't be bought. There we go. I'm finishing the job I was hired for. So, start walking. Help! She's got a blaster! Get some cover, buddy. Now! Here to help! Get it! No! no. no. Good work, Nix. Oh, that's actually... Hold on, what is this? Do we go back in here now or what? Don't call anyone else. We can do this nice and easy, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, my plan was more than some trip to the casino. I had an entire operation ready, from fixing Sabak games to weighted chance cubes. You think you're the first person to dream about beating the house? I'm still here, by the way. The uh, dev was actually just giving me some tips. All right, we should be good. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. I got too far back. Now we're good. Elevator! So I wonder if you take the bribe if, like, anything really changes, because... I feel like they're still gonna attack, like, you know? Maybe not. I don't like that they're actually sprinting away. Looking for a ship upgrade? So I'm gonna go back to the other area and take this person... I kind of feel bad for him, because I don't know what's gonna happen to him, but... It's kind of part of the job, I guess. Alright, don't make yourself too comfortable. I will not. Is there anything else back here? And now Slero what are you going right. to do with me? Slero put a death mark on me. Pretty okay. much a bounty. Okay. We just gotta figure something out before Zarek Bash finds us. Do we just... Remain All right, here we go. Then.
Oh, hold on. Let me lock on. This might actually kill. Oh. Right, we got one. Nice. Man, the space combat is actually really good in this game. Look at this blaster I'm using. It's absolutely cooking. Get the shield down. Wait for it. This might be enough. Guaranteed. I love it. They won't be giving us any more trouble. I hope you're ready to go see Gora. Now this is something I have not seen. Like, when we actually leave, do we just, like... I wonder if it, like, goes back into the orbit, you know? Pulse scan really quick. Alright, let's get going. You do not have to do this. You can still change your mind. Take it up with Gora. This is actually... Amazing that this is even in the game. I was not expecting this. The real time, like landing and all that, is awesome. And you get to pick the spot on the actual area, too. That's so sick. Oh, let's go take this person back now. That was a cool mission. Just basically go there, get the person, bring them back. Unless there's like more to it. Hold on. Let's go up here and see what happens next. You know, I've just been blown away. So I went into this day today thinking this game was going to be, you know, obviously a single player Star Wars game. So I didn't know what I was actually getting into. The fact that it's open world. I was thinking, okay, we're going to be on this planet the entire time. Then we're leaving the planet. Then we're doing stuff in space. Then we're going to other planets. And there's characters everywhere. It's just like there's so much going on. we got like the mini games. I haven't had time to like really check out that either. So I'm just like really excited for the full game. Because the fact that it takes place during, I think it's episodes 5 and 6. There just is so much potential there. You know what I mean? So hopefully it knocks it out of the park. I'm hoping that the video turns out good because I'm recording this remotely from like a different state, which is actually insane with the technology these days. All right, turbo lifts. You're back. I assume you took care of my problem. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I got him on my ship. His name's Tislak Shar. Tislak? I should have known. It's just like him, plotting against me for something so pathetic. I'll send someone to collect him. Now, be on your way! Alright. Someone left a gift for you. I guess you're making friends. Nice. I'll pick it up. Alright, the trader has been completed. Thank you all for watching this. Thanks again, Ubisoft, for sponsoring this video. And again, if you want to pro the game yourself, just click that link. Should be at the very, very top of my description box. But I will say this. The overall, like, time I had with the game today was exceptional. Playing it remotely as well. And it's not even a final version of the game. It's just, like, literally... It just screams so much potential. So, excited for the full game. Love you all. Thanks for, like, supporting these types of videos. And I'll talk to you soon. Much love and take it easy.